So I want to make this little frame here. Some, some tubes and it's the one on the back of the desk. I want to create that. <clears throat> There's two different ways I could do it. One, I could draw the parts and put them together, right? How many different parts is that? Two. Five. Two. That's two parts, right? Okay. This is one, and that's one. So I could do it as two different parts because that's a pretty easy frame. Um, <clears throat> or I can do it all as the, the, the use a frame generator, and it's going to create five different parts for it. Wow. So it kind of depends on this one. It might be easier to do it just by itself, but we're going to use that to learn the, the frame generator. And in the frame generator, you, you actually use the overall dimensions and everything together. So we're going to work that way. So <clears throat> we can do it either bottom up or top down. What was the difference? What's bottom up? Now you start with a part, and you create a sketch, and you go up, right? You can also start top down, which is where? You start in the assembly. So if I was going to do something that's big and complex with maybe a couple different planes um, of things, I might do that, start them in a couple different sketches as parts and put them together. I could also go from the assembly and work down. It doesn't really matter. Um, which way? So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to do it bottom up. Just pick a plane to work on. Create a sketch. And I'm just going to draw out where I want those to be. Making sure my constraints are turning on. We need a perpendicular where I want it, midpoint to midpoint. See that's going there. What other constraints should I use on this? Parallel. Parallel what? Vertical. Yep. On the center line, I should make that vertical. Make these two equal too. What? Make two equal. Yeah, make these two equal. Right? Are there any more constraints I can add before I start adding dimensions? They are all equal. Because they're all starting on the top line and in the bottom line. So those are all equal height. So well, I don't need to do that. What about the distance? The distance between them, right? Yeah, the distance. Is there one? Is there a constraint I can use to control the distance between them? Symmetrical? Yeah, I can use symmetric. In here. So I pick my first element, pick my second element, and then I pick the thing in the middle. I can, now I can dimension. So that line right there is going to be 38.625. That was going to be 0.5. And that is 6.375. So there's that sketch. So I just use the numbers here. I didn't worry about finding the center lines because I can, when I put in the frame, I can tell it where to line up with. So I'm actually just using there and I can tell it how to line up when I get done. Because this line here, my sketch is actually going down the middle, right? My sketch is actually here, 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 like that, right? So I get this done, save it, and I'll call this bricks. Now 
I could do a new assembly. And should I do a standard assembly or a weldment assembly? What? Weldment, right? I'm going to weld this thing probably. So might as well do a weldment. I can just go in, place, grab that brace, bring it in. If I had multiple sketches, I could bring them in, space them out, line them up however I wanted to, to kind of build from here, which you guys will do later. <coughs> so I bring that in. Now what? Design. Yeah, design. I want to do some design work. So now, insert frame. Save it. <laughs> so now it comes up, what do I want? So, Here's that, that alignment that I talked about. Here, what do I want? Do I want flat bar stu steel tube, flat bar steel tube, rectangular tube, square tube? What do I want? Square, 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 square. square tube, right? Size. And in this standard, there isn't the right size, so let's see if we can get. Test it out ahead of time. Um, we'll just make whatever she decides. Can you override those? Yeah, if you go back into the standard. Find out where to, to change that. So I'm just going to put in. If you have them lined up the same way, you can put more in at once, because, but because this was not aligned in the same direction.
slow process. If you had them all lined up the same, like all, if you had your lines, center lines of all of them, it'd be real quick. Yeah, so you, you could can just pick them all at the same time. So now you can see that it's coming in, it's put in the tubes. But what's wrong with these? It's protruding through the front part. Yeah, they're sticking through. You have both tubes there. So we can do either a miter or a notch. So if I did a miter and I did those two. See the corner I get now? Nice miter. But that's not what I want, is it? So I can do trim to frame. So I can use that's my one I want to stop at, that's the one I want to stop. Hit apply, cuts it. Why does it shorten the top? Um, I don't. It'd be nice if it didn't, though. How about that? What's that trim to trim to trim to So, you pick a base on What's the trim to stay? What? The well, trim extend is the one that's like the base to trim to. Okay. So I can do trim extend, so I can trim that one to that. That face. And it goes down, right? What was that one? That was trim extend. And if I look at it, it's just a straight cut across. Got the weld work there. We can also do a notch. We can notch that around that, but because this was they're the same size, it won't it leaves pieces. So that's not really the best option there either. So the trim extend. Would be like angles and all that stuff. Stuff. Well, What? That's too big of a well. That's what size it took. Remember, this is just a little graphic representation. You're not going to do a well based on what this shows. <laughs> it doesn't look the same as the picture. Actually, what's interesting is it did spot welds on the sides with the little hole in there. I'm kind of curious how they did that. So, for welds on drawings, usually on drawings, we don't even show welds. So you're going to, depending on where you're, you're at, you don't have to show the weld on the drawing. You can just do this and then put your weld symbols off of it. You don't have to show the weld. That's something, they've never, never done that before, you start doing three now. So, you don't have to, you can do it just like that. Now, if we happen to put the welds on it, and we go out to the, uh, to the parts, and we, or the assembly, will it, <clears throat> will it indicate the welding symbol? That you have to put the symbol in. If they don't stay together. <clears throat> um, let's try, let's try to do this. So if, let's say we come back and oh, decide we want this to be different. We want this hmm? to be a, a two-inch one instead. 
you could just come back in, pick on that one, edit with the frame generator, and tell what size to be. And then these ones will change also. So that's the that's the, the benefit of the frame generator, is that you can change it easy. Yeah. Um, but we could also have done that just with the parts in the top down, right? So it's easier to do this, like when you draw this up, to do the centers instead of like the outside or inside? Yeah, if you want to be able to put them all in at one time. Yeah. <clears throat> but if you had a big complex thing, you could do them, and at least that's where you've got just that general sizes you want. Yeah. Um, let's see. So let's look at trying to get the right size. Yeah. Um, how should I try and figure out a way to add new sizes to that? Call on again. What? Where should I go to try and find out how to add new sizes to the frame generator? No, it's not a parameter. Because parameters are our custom settings. So let's try a little help right here. Oh, parameters already. Parameters are where we can say height and width. Um, but it also does. It does do parameters for any dimensions we put in. But we don't have any thing here. So that's not going to give us anything. But I could go here. Click on change. In SolidWorks, does it automatically create parameters for you? Remember, you have to name them using the link. So let's try and find how to add. So I'm gonna I'll treat you. Try and find out how to add in new custom sizes into the into the list. I'm gonna work on it up here, and I want you guys to try and figure it out also.